All right. In 1940, the British government's Ministry of Supply introduced a compulsory public initiative that drew a counter protest from the British Records Association. What was the issue? And one more time for you. In 1940, the British government's Ministry of Supply introduced a compulsory public initiative that drew a counter protest from the British Records Association. What was the issue? So 1940, that that's in the war, right? Second World War, yeah. So is it something to do with um, some sort of records of something where they think if the other side gets hold of them, we're giving over our state secrets? What was it? The, the British Recordings Association? British? Uh, the British Records Association did the counter-protest against the Ministry of Supply. Is the British Records Association, is that what's now like the National Archives? Oh, I was thinking like mm. recordings as in the music industry, but this is... Oh, I was thinking records as in like census records and like stuff that would now be in the National Archives. Mm. I'm looking at Danny. I'm looking at Danny for hints. That is a question. <laughs> One of you is indeed correct. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> it's either music or records of people. It's got to be music, because if it was national archives, everything then was in government. Like, they could basically get away with whatever they wanted to internally. They would have just sent an edict over and, and archived. Everything was being locked up safely for, like, being unboxed in 50 years' time. Because I've, I've, I've done research in the national archives before, and each folder will have, like, lots of stamps on it saying when it can be opened, when it can be eventually released. They and have I a really like... cool room in there as well for that you can do for digital records like that. Like it's a it's yeah. a very like the whole thing very ooh, very cool. But I feel like there wouldn't have been a public protest from another branch of the government. There would have just been a lot of angry memos sent back and forth between civil servants <laughs> on on really thin tracing paper typewritten by some hard working secretary somewhere. Um I've spent a lot of time in the National Archives looking at things like that and like they archived everything. Like, if you sent a memo from one department to another, you didn't throw it away afterwards. It went and it was filed and it was in a box. Presumably they're doing the same with emails these days, but also probably not. <laughs> I don't think they do that anymore. They gave up on that, right, Tom? <laughs> oh, I hope not. I really hope not. My parents run a small business that is all about digital record management, so they go to big companies and government workplaces to get them to do these things properly. I assure you, they might be meant to. They don't always. <laughs> and I guess we haven't actually established whether which, which records it was, have we yet, either? <laughs> we got close. Okay, it's, it's music records, right? It's like vinyl records. It is nothing to do with music and that sort of recording. It is closer to archiving. Ah. Wow, okay. Well, that throws out my first guess, which was going to be they wanted to melt down the vinyl for reuse in war supply or something like that. Okay. Did they want to do a census? Uh, no, it wasn't a census. Tom, I wouldn't completely discount that sort of general drain circling there. That's pretty warmer than you think. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, gen general drain circling worked in the Ministry of Supply. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Is it to do with, like, paper? It is to do with paper. Ooh. Ooh. So what might the Ministry of Supply, they had this compulsory public initiative that was the issue here. Did they want to hand out books or, or notebooks or something, something else made of paper, trying to think? Toilet roll. <laughs> it would have been a shortage of something needed for, yeah, toilet roll. Not specifically toilet roll. I won't say that they were mm. that, that was necessarily not included in this, but not specifically that. That was not the problem. Was it to do with schools? Not specifically, no. So what are they redirecting? Are they... Oh, this is, this is tickling the back of my brain. There's something about having things redirected for government use or, or maybe moving... Re requisitioning all the paper in the country or something like that. And I can't remember the story. It's something... The government wanted a load of paper for something and I can't remember what it was. You are absolutely right about what the initiative is. What could they have wanted the paper for? And Sean, you're right, definitely a war thing. This has got to be running parallel. It's got to be running parallel to when they um, they had the scheme where people could like have their pets murdered for the war effort, which is a separate thing. <laughs> what? Oh, is, well. Which, I'm glad it. it's not that because that was dark. <laughs> Yeah, it's really dark, and I hate mentioning it, but yeah, that was that was a thing that happened. Uh, it's not not a nice piece of Britain's history, that. Um, oh, 
Yeah, I didn't know that one. Uh, one for another episode. Yeah, paper, maybe. paper. <laughs> <laughs> Paper's better. Was it for yeah. maps? No, it was actually even mm, I don't know, less papery. Apparently paper is just really good for a lot of specific things that you'd want in a war. It gets made into some very good things. And it's not it's not money. No, and it's not as this isn't especially relevant to what caused the counter process and things, but apparently paper is very good for things like shell containers and uh, mortar carriers and all sorts of stuff, just a necessary component for it. And you're absolutely right. There was masses of shortages in supplies, so they did a big old give us your paper. Oh, and then, then the records were like, hang on, if we do that, there'll be no historical records from this time because everyone will have given them to be turned into things we blow up. That was exactly the problem. They started to worry that people would get a little bit too trigger happy with throwing out their documents. And there were some reports around the place that people were throwing out coroner records, that councils had gotten rid of their accounting books. Uh, There was a bunch of things. So they ended up having to give out leaflets saying, please watch out before you throw (laughs) it out. They handed out paper to stop people handing out, uh, throwing away paper. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) They needed to make sure the people had more paper that they could throw away so they didn't throw out their important ones. Wow. Humans, eh? 